All right, it's time for trivia time. I'm Dave Flores, and we're going to have some fun just with some cool trivia questions. As we're quarantining and winding down and getting back to normal, hopefully you'll have a good time. Let's just blow right through this. We have nine questions. And let's just have a little fun with it. Okay? Sounds good? Let's do this. Okay, let's see if we can get to our first question. And, of course, first of all, just want to let you know we're on North County SD Live. North County SD Live. NCSDLive.com. It's a local channel for North County San Diego up and down the Highway 78 corridor. As you see there, Oceanside, Vista, San Marcos, Escondido, all, all the surrounding communities, including the coast, right? So let's do this and see what our first question is. Okay, who developed the smallpox vaccine? Which of these? Louis Pasteur, Edward Jenner, Jonas Salk, and of course there were three major uh, epidemics. There was polio, rabies, and there was smallpox. So which of the three did the smallpox vaccine? Go ahead and take 20, 30 seconds. Let's do this. And just select what you think the right answer is. Pasture, Jenner, or Salk? We have a kind of a cool whistle here. Here it is. Boy, that'll wake you up every time, won't it? Okay, so let's take a look and see who developed that vaccine. Let's take a look again. Pasteur, Jenner, Salk. Let's go to the slide and see what it says. Edward Jenner. Edward Jenner was the one who developed the smallpox vaccine and saved many lives. Jonas Salk took care of the polio, and Louis Pasteur did the rabies. So let's move on. Okay, here's your next question. Now, this is from the Gender Gap Survey. Gender Gap, men and women, questioning, you know, about each other's habits, etc. Okay, question. Do men find it more difficult than women to shift their brains from the thinking to the feeling? Okay, now that's the question. Is the answer yes, is it no, or is it just the same as women? Okay, so let's take 30 seconds and ponder that one. Do, fin do men find it more difficult than women to shift the brains from thinking to feeling? Time's up. Of course, this is a survey to men and women, and you know, it's just a rough idea. Some of the surveys are a little more interesting than others, but let's just take a look again and see what the answer to this one is. Gender Gap Survey said, men do, do have more difficulty shifting brains from thinking to feeling. You can see him, look at him, he's really thinking with that shirt of his. Let's move on and see what we got coming up next. Here we go. Okay, the last recall of a California governor. Oh, my. Looks like they have enough votes for, uh, or at least enough signatures at this point. Not positive yet, but it looks pretty pretty uh, certain that uh, Governor Newsom is going to face some kind of a recall. The interesting part about the recall is that you can have multiple candidates, but it's the one that gets the most votes of the candidates. So let's just imagine we had... 10 candidates. Could be, right? Now, whoever has the plurality of votes wins, which could be like a little over 10% of the vote. You know, A recall is an interesting thing. A lot of people don't know that. At any rate, so what did happen? The last recall of the California governor. Again, let's take a look. What year was it? 1998, 2003, 2008, 2010. Take 30 seconds and ponder this one. Last recall of a California governor, what year? 10 seconds. 
There's the whistle. Ooh, my, that was a big one. Okay, so let's take a look. When was the last recall? And here we go. Let's see what it is. Aha! Governor Davis is recalled. Schwarzenegger wins. And that year was 2003. It was Arnold the Governator. The Governator, right? Okay, here we go. Let's move on to our next subject. Aha! Well, this is kind of a little plug here for QuizShowMania.com. QuizShowMania is a portable game show. It goes to all kinds of events and it has a lot of fun. You can see right there, it's just like a Jeopardy set. A lot of fun with questions, laughs, all kinds of stuff. Now, go to QuizShowMania.com, you'll see videos of the QuizShowMania in action. But here's the cool part. Kids love it too. <laughs> You'd be amazed at how smart our kids are and also how funny they can be. And I'll tell you what, when they get behind those podiums, they know exactly what to do, okay? So that's our sponsor, QuizShowMania.com. And uh, just remember that when we get back to normal, we will have portable game shows going out to all kinds of events in San Diego County, okay? So I hope you're gonna be one of them. Let's move on. Okay, here's our next question. What soda brand contained the drug lithium citrate up until the year 1950? Again, what soda brand contained the drug lithium citrate until the year 1950? Was it Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, 7-Up, or Squirt? You've got 20 seconds to figure that one out. All right. We all heard about Coca-Cola with cocaine and that sort of thing, but this one might surprise you. Lithium, it's a drug that is used to make you feel good. 10 seconds. There's the whistle. So let's take a look. Which of these famous sodas was giving us lithium? Aha, look at that. Nothing does it like 7-Up. And look at that kid there. He look, Obviously, he's a young kid. And he looks like he was in the 1950s, doesn't he? Nothing does it like 7-Up. Well, that may have been lithium citrate. You like it. It likes you. But we've moved on to safer sodas. So let's move on. Okay, what rock group, famous rock group, which of these started out as the Detours? The Detours, okay? That was their name before they got famous and changed their name. Was it the Doors, the Eagles, Genesis, or the Who, who used to be the Detours? Okay, take 30 seconds on that one. It makes you wonder too, if they stayed the Detours, if they would have been as famous, who knows? 10 seconds. There she goes. There's the whistle. Okay, so back to the Doors, the Eagles, Genesis, who? These are super groups, right? And you'd think if they didn't change their name, they probably still would have had success. But how much? We'll never know, right? So let's go back to it and see who was the Detours. It was the who, the who, that's the one. All right, so let's move on. U.S. president's coming up. Let's see what we got here. Okay, our next one is, okay, one of these presidents had this to say. I have opinions of my own, strong opinions, but I don't always agree with them. Hmm, well, hmm, I'm not sure if that <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Let's look again. I have opinions of my own, strong opinions, but I don't always agree with them. Well, who was it? Which president said that famous quote? Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, George W. Bush, or Jimmy Carter? Okay, take 30 seconds on that one. Ten seconds. 
Clinton, Obama, Bush, Carter, which one? You know, I do have strong opinions of my own. St really strong ones. Really. But I don't always agree with them. Well, I don't know about that. At any rate, so that's a U.S. president saying that. All right, let's see. Okay, which one? Is it? it was not Clinton and it was not Carter. That leaves Obama and George W. And let's see who it was. Ah, George W. with his better half, Laura who may have strong opinions of her own, too. Let's move on. Okay, here's one. This is kind of interesting, really. Typically, how many whiskers are on a cat's snout? Okay, typically. That's like 99.8%, something like that. How many whiskers on a cat's snout? Now, you may be tempted to grab Mr. Kitty or Miss Kitty right now, but you're not going to have time because we only have 20 seconds on the clock for this one. Okay, so let's go back to it, and good luck. Which of those is correct? Let's see. How many whiskers on a cat's snout? 18, 24, 36, 48. All right, there it is. There's the whistle. Well, let's take a look and see what what we have here. Oh, check that out. What a handsome kitty, right? But look, typically 24 whiskers, all right? And they're placed 12 per cheek with four horizontal rows of three whiskers each. Now, that's kind of amazing. I had no idea. And of course, uh, you know, that's what trivia is about sometimes, right? It's like you have the slightest idea and it's like, who cares, right? But it is interesting, I think. So at any rate, you can count the whiskers on your cats and I think you're gonna find that it works. So let's move on and let's see what we have in store. Okay, all right, well, since we're on the uh, cats, let's go to dogs now, right? Typical, right? We're all home with our dogs and cats now lately. So, all right, let's take a look. Typically, when dogs do their business, they align their bodies with what? The north and south axis of the earth, the east and west axis, or just the prevailing wind direction, okay? Typically, when dogs do their business, they align their bodies with what? Which of the axis, or is it prevailing wind direction? And go ahead and take uh, 20 seconds for that. Actually, you know, we could have just added a fourth one and said none of the above, right? But no, it is one of the above. So let's see what it is. Okay, let's take a look. Aha! They find the north-south axis. Okay, now, uh, you notice how dogs will, you know, they kind of sniff around on round objects, right? Or, you know, like a tree trunk or let's say a fire hydrant. And the interesting part is, uh, they're not necessarily looking for something, they're feeling something as far as, again, the axis, right? Because they find the north-south axis. Now, if you'd like to try it, next time you observe your dog uh, or another dog, you know, doing this sort of thing, <laughs> um, if you have a compass, you could just sort of match up and make sure their bodies. But I think you're going to find that there are facts to this one. Okay, let's move on. All right, what's our next? Here we go. Okay, Ikebana. Ikebana. It's the ancient Japanese art of what? Para boiling grains or watercoloring parchment scrolls or flower arrangements? Ikebana, the ancient Japanese art. Which one is correct? Let's take 20 seconds. ancient Japanese art. Mm. 
There's a whistle. Let's take a look and see what Ikebana is. Ikebana, the art of flower arrangement. Okay. I'm Dave Flores. I hope you enjoy some of the trivia here. Trivia time. And, uh, you know, look, we can always learn something new every day, right? And uh, why not? There's so much out there. So hope you're uh, surviving the pandemic and getting back to normal. Things do seem to getting, be getting there. And, of course, uh, I hope that it's going well for you at home. And for the kids, everybody, grandma, grandpa, you know, the whole deal. All right, so hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll be back with more. And let's just take a look here. Trivia time with host Dave Flores. In ncsdlive.com is a channel that you can visit. Go to your web browser, ncsdlive.com, and you're going to find not just trivia shows, because there's like almost 30 of them, just similar to what we did today, just now, and you can go in there and, you know, kill some time with trivia. You can also find stories about North County, San Diego. We have stories about Seaport Village that you won't find anywhere else. We interviewed some of the uh, owners of the shops at Seaport, and they're telling us about the future of San Diego Seaport Village. And there's all kinds of things. Escondido Cruising Grand from last year. Interviews. Uh, you name it. There's tons of shows. Please visit ncsdlive.com. Okay? I'm Dave Flores. Hope you have a great one, and thanks for watching. Take care now.